Next.js 16 is here. At least some of its features just got revealed. And oh boy, it's awesome. Today we will look into what's new and even better, we also test it out because actually you already can. But before we do so, let me introduce you to the sponsor of today's video, which is ScaleKit. ScaleKit is the auth and access management layer for AI applications. So if your setup involves MCP servers for agents to access your product or your AI agents need to talk to apps like Slack, Notion or Google, getting OAuth 2.1 working can be painful. And that's where ScaleKit really shines. It handles all the heavy lifting for you. If that sounds interesting to you, you find a link to them down in the description. So Next.js major updates are always kind of like game changers. Do you remember the introduction of the app directory? Ah, a lot of people don't like Next.js exactly because of these breaking big changes. But I feel like this new Next.js 16 update is not. It feels more like a big optimization and fixing annoying things. And the first annoying thing has to do with client components. So in Next.js we have the client side and we have the server side. And this is great because this gives us a lot of possibilities. But there's one problem. When I have a client component and I lock something, then I can see it right here in the console of your web browser. But if I'm now in a server component, I usually see it right here in the terminal of your application. So on your server, and this is annoying because it's not always the case that you have this use client on the top. You cannot and still be in a client component, but you don't know. So now there is an experimental flag for that and it's called browser debug info and terminal. So with setting this to true and going now on our client page, we will see the browser logs on our server. So the browser, the client is now forwarding these logs to the server. Ah, that's awesome because now we have all the logs on this terminal. That's very, very cool. All right, let's get to the next thing. And this is the DevTools Segment Explorer, which you can set to true. And I need to be honest here with you, I couldn't find a lot about this thing. But for you, of course, I dig very, very deep and found this pull request here, Initial Support for Segment Explorer. And this just looks like a better visualization for features like parallel routes or interception routes. So extended routing patterns I haven't made a video about, but in the future I will. So subscribe to the channel to don't miss that. And for the next cool thing, we go into the package.json because here we now can add this turbo pack flag to your Next.js build. This will make your build faster, which is awesome because now you save time and you are a better developer because you accomplish more tasks. Awesome. And the third experimental flag I'm going to show you here is also a game changer. A global not found. Ah, I'm waiting for this a long time because believe it or not, but this is very, very, very ugly and big project because the usual not found that we have, right? We have this file not found TSX in Next.js. This is just working on route level and the global not found is working globally. So when you don't have a route that is matching, the not found will not be hit. So if you have nested layouts and stuff like that. But with the global not found, you always have a hit, which is great. But keep in mind that you have to use the full HTML body here now, right? So you have an HTML tag, a body tag, and things like Tailwind will not work in here because they are not imported, right? You would have to do some ugly things like these inline styles. But just keep that in mind, but it's awesome that we now have the possibility to define a global not found on the top level in our app router. So as I already showed you in the package.json with the turbo pack flag, Next.js is getting faster, a lot faster, because we have some new client optimizations and you can activate them with client segment cache to true. And this will give you some client side router improvements like reduced bandwidth, better caching or smarter prefetching. So a lot of improvements inside of this cool new flag. And then you can also add turbo pack persistent caching, which makes your apps faster if you use turbo pack. And now we get to a really, really cool one. Cursor is already predicting it, it's the cache components flag. And this is a new one, but actually it's not. Because in the last couple of weeks, we had a lot of these things. We had dynamic IO, we had PPR, partial pre-rendering, we had the use cache directive. What am I writing here? Shut up. But now all of them are bundled inside of this cache components. And here we will see a lot of improvements in Next.js 16. So caching will get easier, a lot easier, because it is very, very complex right now. But caching can solve so many problems. It makes your app faster and it makes it cheaper because you don't have to send a bunch of requests. You can just cache them. And that's awesome, but most people don't understand caching. And I totally understand that. But cache components will make this easier. And if you don't want to miss anything about that, subscribe to this channel because I will make videos about that for sure. So 
that's it. That was just the recap of all the new cool functionalities that will come in Next.js 16 and that you can test out right now. Be aware that in your package.json you use a Next.js version that is on the Canary channel. Otherwise, these things will not work. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a great week. Bye bye.